Profeta Esther Aguarón reside en Tarragón, España, con su esposo José Antonio Pardo Sanz y sus hijos Sandra, Ismael y Aarón. Allí pastorean la Iglesia Cristiana Familiar Moría en Tarragona, España, bajo la cobertura de ministerios Betania del apóstol Efraín Abelar y su esposa Dorita Abelar. Escritora del libro En Esto Pensad y fundadora de la Escuela Profética, El Fuego Está Encendido. Recibamos con un aplauso a Esther Aragón. Vamos, díselo ahí. Come on, sing it to him. Son momentos que todos vivimos en la vida. There are moments we all live in life. Y son esos momentos que pueden cambiar completamente. And it's those moments that can completely change. El destino de una persona. The destiny of a person. Es una fracción de segundos. It's a fraction of seconds. Y en esa fracción de segundos. And in that fractions of seconds. Todo puede cambiar. Everything can change. Es ese instante. It's that instant. En el que tocas el manto. When you touch the mantle. Ese instante. That instant. En el que te encuentras con él. And you find yourself with him. Y puede suceder absolutamente todo. And you can absolutely everything. Tú recuerdas ese momento. Do you remember that moment? Cuando te encontraste con él por primera vez. When you found yourself with him for the first time. Y eras capaz de creerlo todo. And he's capable of doing it all. Eras capaz de entregarlo todo. And you're capable of giving it all. Solo por estar en ese momento en su presencia. Just to be in that moment in his presence. Es ese, es ese momento. In that moment. Que lo cambia todo en nuestra vida. That changes everything in our lives. Por eso hoy quiero. That's why today I would like. Llevarte a ese momento. To take you to that moment. Porque creo que ese momento. Because I believe that moment. Es el que más is the one that has most value cada uno de for each and every one of us veces en tu vida how many times in your life has escuchado, Vive el you've heard live the moment Pero, ¿qué son los que vivir? but what are the moments we truly want to live los buenos, the good ones los malos, the bad ones de fe, we have moments of faith de moments of uncertainty en los que que tomar the ones that we have to make decisions de cambios, ones that all of a sudden changes come de pérdida, ones of loss que de ganancia, ones that we live of gaining que muy felices, moments that we're very happy estamos muy tristes the moments that we're very sad porque nuestra vida because our life se construye de momentos it's consisted of moments pero que es un momento but what is a moment cuando hablamos de un momento when we speak of a moment hablamos de tiempo we speak of time hablamos de decisiones of decisions hablamos de acciones of actions momento moment es una palabra que podemos relacionar con el tiempo is a word that we can correlate with time con la ciencia, with science incluso con la física y las matemáticas and even with physics and mathematics momentos también lo podemos relacionar con una oportunidad we can always correlate it with a, an opportunity y la palabra de Dios está llena de ellos and the word of God is full of them en Josué capítulo 1 versículo 2 in Joshua 1 2 la palabra the word says mi siervo Moisés ha muerto my, Moses my servant is dead el Señor le estaba hablando a Josué God was speaking to Joshua mi siervo Moisés ha muerto Moses my servant is dead ahora pues now therefore levántate y pasa Arise and go over this Jordan. You and all these people. To the land which I give them. Repeat after me now. That is a key word in our life. God was given a very punctual command to him. To be able to conquer the land that he had for him. And the Lord said, Moses just died. And this is the moment. He didn't say you're going to have it next month or when you have the resources or next Monday no 
hacer ahora. He says you're going to do it now. Este es tu momento, Josué. This is your moment, Esta Joshua. Es tu This is your opportunity. Momento, Because moments es divino, is a divine impulse si no haces, no that if you don't take it no and take advantage of it, it doesn't happen again. Moments that are a fraction of seconds and that change our destiny Todos forever. We all have those moments. Yo recuerdo. I remember in, un momento muy difícil de mi vida. in a very difficult time in my life. Muy difícil de mi vida. Very difficult in my life. Un día contaré parte de mi testimonio. One day I'll tell you part of my testimony. Y en ese momento, And in that moment, para nada estaba preparada. I wasn't prepared for anything. Pero mi apóstol, el apóstol Efraín Avelar, But my apostle, apostle Ephraim Avalar, me dijo, Estercita, he said, ¿Tú quieres compartir mañana en el Congreso Internacional? You want to share tomorrow in the International Conference? Y en ese momento, And in that moment, yo dije, sí. I said, yes. No estaba preparada. I wasn't ready. Estaba en uno de los peores momentos de mi vida. I was in one of the worst moments of my life. Pasó el rato. A little while went by. un ataque de pánico. And I got an attack of panic. Empecé a llorar. I started to cry. Empecé a chillar. I started to scream. Y a mi marido. And to my husband. Empecé a sacudirlo. I started to shake him. Empecé a decirle por qué le he dicho que sí. And I said, why did I say yes? Por qué he tenido que hacer eso? Why do you have to do that? No estoy preparada para eso. I'm not eso. ready for this. Son miles de personas. And thousands of people. Soy la primera mujer. And I'm the first que woman. Que va a predicar en ese Congreso. That will preach in that conference. Marcos Will. Marco Will has gone Está there. Carlos Riva. What am I doing in that platform? Y mi me And my husband shook me. He said, Esther, Para quieta. stop. Este es tu This is your moment. No dejes pasar tu Don't let your moment go by. Mira, yo no dejé pasar mi momento. I didn't let my moment go by. Yo reconozco cada uno de los momentos que han cambiado mi vida. I recognize every moment that's changed my life. Reconozco la primera reunión. I remember the first meeting. Reconozco la primera vez que yo recibí a Cristo como mi Señor y Salvador. The first time I received Christ as my Lord and Savior. I recognize the, the day that I received my first prophetic word. And also when I had to give my testimony before people. I remember the first time I went to the nations. The first book I wrote. And there are many that can say, what's my moment, prophet? What do you think is my moment? When will that moment come that will change my destiny? King David knew how to discern it in Psalm 31 15 he says my times are in your hands my opportunities my moments and everything that will happen to me the divine connection the people that I'll meet everything is in your hands Lord you know when I'll be mistaken and when I'll take a bad decision when the doors will be shut and you know when I'll join someone and you're going to draw me far from them And you're going to put me in the tú path sabes, again. Dios, you know, beloved God. Divino, you're going to give me that divine push. And you're going to connect me with the correct qué? people. You know why? Because your father knows it all. Para cada fallo, él Because tiene una every failure, he has a mercy. Y para cada And for every deception, él tiene una he has a restoration. Para cada for every injustice, él tiene un de he, he has a time of redemption. Even when things come up wrong, even when you're desperate and you're saying to the Lord why is this happening to me? I'm doing the things correctly. Is it that God isn't seeing me? That he doesn't hear me? God is preparing your moment. Yo pensaba durante muchos años I thought during many years que yo iba a ser una miembro de una iglesia that I'll be a member of a church iba a ser una dominguera como decimos en España that I'll just go on Sundays y Dios utilizó un proceso de enfermedad and God used a process of sickness en el cual estuve nueve meses en coma in which I was nine months in a coma él me dejó sin memoria he left me without memory no sabía caminar cuando me desperté when I woke up I didn't no know how to walk no sabía hablar I didn't know how to speak en ese momento en el cual estaba en hospitales psiquiátricos in that moment when I was in psychiatric hospital Hospitals. I didn't understand completely anything. They had to bind me no hands and feet. Hablar, no I couldn't speak. I couldn't communicate. Why this was happening to me? Momento, But in that moment, the only one I could speak to in my thoughts was with the Lord. Dije, and then I said si to him, if you give me an si opportunity este to lugar, get out of this place, I'm going to give you my life completely. In that psychiatric ward, Mind and hand and 
me. Cambió el destino de mi vida. God changed the Yo destiny of my life. Ese momento, and I could live that moment. En el que Dios me hizo nacer completamente de nuevo. God made me rebirth. Cuando te digo que nací de nuevo, es porque realmente automáticamente nací de nuevo. It's because truly, automatically, I was born again. Yo cuando me desperté después de nueve meses de coma, when I woke up after nine months of coma, I didn't know how to speak. Yo no sabía caminar. I didn't know how to walk. Yo ya no tenía pasado. I didn't have no past. Dios me borró toda la memoria. God erased my memory. Yo no tengo recuerdos de mi niñez. I don't have memory of my childhood. Yo no tengo recuerdos de mi adolescencia. Or when I was a teenager. Tengo que contar mi madre. My mother had to tell me what I truly did when I was young. Dios reseteó completamente mi memoria. Set my memory completely. He made me be born again. And there are many people that draw near to me. And they say, Prophet, you gave me this word. And you said this. And you told me that. And I say, Oh, well, how good. But truly, I don't remember. Because I don't have retention in my memory. If you tell me what happened yesterday, I can't remember what God really spoke to you yesterday. Because He made me. Truly be born again. And one of the reasons why I'm truly in this place is because I've lived that moment. 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 El Señor me deja ver el mes de septiembre marcado en tu vida. Lord, let's see the month of September marked in your life. Dios me dice este mes de septiembre ha sido el mes de tu nacimiento. This month of September was the day of your birth. Porque es importante cuando nacemos. Because it's important when we're born. Donde nacemos. Where we're born. Y donde crecemos. And where we grow. Por eso tenemos que entender. That's why we have to understand. Proféticamente todo lo que realmente Dios pone en nuestra vida. Prophetically, all that God puts in our life. Es un tiempo en el que Dios va a dar respuesta a mucha incertidumbre. It's a time that He'll give answers to many uncertainties. Mucha inquietud dentro de tu corazón. Calmness in your life, in your heart. But God will bring the answer that you truly need in this time. There's a young man named Michael, and the Lord tells me it's the time in which I'm going to fulfill promises that I have with Michael. It's the time in which I'm going to enter in your house, and I'm going to put everything to order. I see that before it came into revolution, and everything was revolutionized. But it has to do with the waiting room of what God is going to do in your house. That's why you got to get ready to be able to receive a new season in your life. There's a season in which no one in your house, no one in your house, will be the same. Everything will change. The Lord says, "I'm going to enter and change it all." And no one will be able to escape. And what I truly have in this time for you in your house is the mighty name of Jesus. Look at the one next to you. Say, "This is your moment. This is your moment. This is your moment." Jesus. Barbie Garcia. Barbie Garcia. Pero a ti te hablé ayer. I spoke to you yesterday. Ella. No te hablé a ti. Oh, y era muy parecida, ¿no? Te hablaste a ella. Ah, okay. Jesus. Puedo ver un niño. I can see a child. Se llama Jeremías. His name is Jeremiah. Ese niño tiene dos años. He's two years old. Y los ha cumplido hace dos meses. And two months ago he turned two. El Señor me dice es el único varón. He says you're only boy. Que realmente yo te he dado hasta ahora. That I've truly given up to now. Pero tiene que prepararte. But you have to get ready. Está marcado. He's marked. Jeremías está marcado. Jeremiah is marked. Jeremías está marcado. He is marked. Pero hay una niña. But there's a girl. Hay otra niña. There's another girl. Que realmente está en tu casa. That's truly in your house. But she. Es una niña que es muy pequeñita. She's very small. Es una niña que tiene como meses. She's like. Y el Señor me dice, hay una unción de apertura sobre ella, hay una unción que va a apertura, hay un manto de apertura sobre ella, todo se va a abrir a su paso, tu casa está marcada y es un tiempo en el que el Señor va a hacer que tu casa tenga crecimiento, viene un tiempo de aumento sobre tu casa y tienes que prepararte porque realmente el Señor te va a dar nuevos diseños, es un tiempo en el que Dios te va a entregar nuevos diseños y tienes que esos diseños ponerlos en las manos de Dios. 
put them in God's hands. He's going to give them to you. But then he's going to ask you for them. Because everything that God gives us, there's a time that he asks for it back. He's giving you inheritance. But in this time, he's going to give you a spiritual inheritance. And that's through your calling. That's why you have to pay attention. There's a prophetic dimension that opens in your life. And the prophetic mantle is put in your life. At this time, he's going to be stronger. It's a garment that God has put at this moment. The one of color, it comes to your life. And I can see how truly you hear. You will start to hear the voice of God as I do. The same way I do, you will hear it. You need to get ready. The time of shaking is coming upon your life. My presence will fill it all. The pretending that I put in your life is one so powerful that will come with precision. It's a prophetic mantle. The same way the prophet of this house has it, you start to speak in your words with the spiritual. You will truly penetrate and change the atmospheres. Wow. My God. There are moments that completely change our lives. I never imagined that I would live what I'm living now. Nor did I ever imagine what God would truly do through my life. I never asked the Lord to be a prophet. I never asked the Lord for him to give me any type of gift. I wasn't interested in any of that. The only thing I desired was to know him in a deep way you have to be careful when God gives you the gift that he gives you because if you don't know how to minister what God gives you you can trip on it later on that's why we need to understand that everything that God gives us we have to take care of it so we don't adulter against it and we're in a time when everything's adultery where there's a lot of manipulation and we should learn and ask the Lord for discernment so that the falseness can disappear the true needs to come up that's why I declare in the name of Jesus that the truth will come up before to be able to bring to shame everything that doesn't come in the name of Jesus I declare that everything that is false all that that wants to intervene with you and your purpose God will make it disappear in the name of Jesus the Lord tells me that you're the of God God has something with you God has something with you that's why the Lord brings us to you the Lord gave you word right now right it was you right because I was there and I didn't notice but now being before you I noticed that he finished speaking to you and many say why don't he give Lord give out a little more to because God is God and he speaks to whoever he wants in the moment that he wants in the way that he wants that's why don't enter into comparison or ask and the Lord says that in this time you are the strength of the Lord in this earth that's why he tells me to tell you come out of the land of desperation you need to come out of desolate land there's desolate in your life and it's the time that you need to come out of this God will give you strength it's strength to shine you have the strength of a warrior and of a buffalo you have the strength to be above the storm he says you have to move it's forward it's the time for you to advance he lets me see a sword in your hand and it says justice he says you asked me to do justice in a cause in this time and God says the sentence is done there's a sentence the resolution is done in a few days you will have the news that the sentence is already established that's why get ready just move forward don't let go because you're on the verge to see your victory tell the one next to you it's your moment how many times have you had to say no say no to something or you had to receive a no 
Because the word no is a word that costs us to give to others as to receive it for ourselves. No is a word that it costs us to minister. There are things that we have to accept, and one of them is that God is God. And not just that, but it costs us to know that God is good. When you understand this, the know that He sends you, you receive it as a lack of attention to you as a, a betrayal term him or that God doesn't love you enough how many people for not knowing who God is they resist to receive a no in their life the no's of God what it shows us is sovereignty and the profound love that he has towards us God knows that majority of the time they come to save us to protect us they come to confront us and Jesus was the first one that went through this Matthew 27 42 says my father my father this cup if you can pass on me so I don't drink it not let my will be done if not yours Jesus was asking the father to help him he was saying father please change your plans with me he knew the pain that he truly would have to suffer but in the relationship that Jesus had with his father it wasn't based on what he wanted or what he desired if not and fulfill the will of he that created him that's why he said not my will be done let yours be done because at times God makes us your problems be less difficult but he gives you the doors necessary so that you can go through it and I'm going to tell you something important you have to know this God said no to his son so he can say yes to your life he was the first one that truly had to live that denial in his life he was the first one that had to receive a no from his father to say yes to your life to say yes to your health to say yes to your children to say yes to your destiny that's why that no has brought resonance to this life this world your answer can't depend on your attitude or how you behave if not his will your relation cannot be based on the Lord in that you, he, want, he do your will always if not you need to learn to accept his because behind the no that you receive there's a yes for many people behind you every time you receive a no on behalf of the Lord you have to go through a process of silence in which you don't understand anything is when God is truly working there's a moment that's on the verge of manifesting through your life Sarah Enriquez I see you surrounded by men four one of them is your husband you have three children the oldest name is Marvin and you have another Jorge and there's a little one named Eric it's a weird Juji you call him and the Lord tells me the oldest is Marvin he's like 18 years old God said the door that I have prepared for him in this time the youngest one he was born in March and the things that will be fulfilled in him and the youngest one is the joy there's a pastor mantle upon him there's a pastor anointing upon the young one and the Lord says he gets very close to the pastor of this house he gets next to the pastor of this house a lot because it's the mantle pastor upon his life and the Lord says a time of surprise is coming to your house you need to prepare because a time of surprise is coming you have said I want you to speak to me God I want you to speak to me and the Lord says this is the time in which you can see everything you do tell the one next to you this is my moment this is my moment there's a woman here named Tania the month of October is marked in your life I see a name Ana Fernanda 
El Señor me dice, and the Lord tells me esta joven this young girl está para mí. she's marked for me esta joven está para mí. she's sealed for no me va a haber nada there'll be nothing que la pueda that can draw her far away from ella. the purpose that esta I have with her una mujer de she's going to be a woman of influence El Señor me dice and the Lord tells que Dios me ha en ti that God has deposited in you para a gift to teach para con los there's niños. a gift with children of teaching in your life and this time will be potential get ready because what God is giving you will be potential it will be like a revolution in your life because there are places first there are positions of privilege that the Lord will give you in this time get ready for an ascension you're going to be ascended there are places that God has prepared for you in this time to be able to honor your life in your house in the name of Jesus the other day the first lady she was speaking to John 4 the Samaritan woman that truly took well but there are various details that I would like to share I don't come to add pastor God deliver me from that but I believe truly the same word has an unlimited source of messages you read a word again and again and it tells you something completely different right? so then this conversation when this woman truly comes to this well it says the Lord began the conversation when he tells her give me to drink and as the pastor said she had a reputation she had five husbands and the one she had wasn't her husband either she was very busy she had gone from failure to failure and from failure to failure in that moment she finds herself with Jesus and he begins a conversation with her and he says give me the drink but in truly the one that was in need was her but the Lord begins that conversation with her but because of the reputation she had the word says that she reached that well at 3 p.m. it was a time when only the people that had a great need will go at that time the same one that went to the door beautiful at 3 p.m. just a person that truly needed a miracle was at that time at that place so this woman the same thing happened as the first lady said she didn't want to meet with anyone she was fed up for people to judge her she was tired that they would always point to her and that's why she would go at that time when it was the hottest time when she knew no one else would be there she went there she did it on purpose so she wouldn't have to give an explanation to anyone and try to avoid the situation she finds herself with the Lord how many times you try to avoid a, a, a counter with someone how many times has your phone rang and you haven't picked it up and after you say I didn't hear it how many times have you been in such a difficult moment in your life in which you didn't want to speak to anyone not even with your own family that's how she was she was in that moment and when truly she didn't want to see anyone Samuel You cook? My God. You cook very good? And you cook and then you sell it? I see you cooking. I see that you put it for sale. The Lord says the time is coming. There's a portion of resources that come to your house. He's going to increase your finances in your house in this time. You have needed of those resources. And you haven't opened your mouth because you're a woman of faith. You are loyal. You live in silence. You don't tell people your needs. You've gone through a time of need. And as your father, 
sé. I know Por it. eso yo voy a desatar los recursos That's que tú estás necesitando en este tiempo. Hay una niña en tu casa There's que se llama house. Sofía. Her name is Sofía. Y esa niña Sofía, that girl, Sofía el Señor la tiene marcada. The Lord has a mark. El Señor me dice, yo le he dado una inteligencia y la voy a colocar en un lugar de privilegio. Esa niña se va a convertir en llave, en una llave que realmente yo le he hecho muchas maldiciones. Se rompan en ella. Sofía ha venido con un propósito. Porque yo todos los errores los convierto en propósitos. Todos los errores los convierto en propósitos. Tú espérame un error y yo te daré un propósito. Así dice el Señor. Es el tiempo en el que esa niña Sofía se convierte en una Melquisedec. Es el tiempo en el que ella va a hallar favor. Ella crecerá y hallará favor delante de personas de autoridad. Before people of authority. And that girl will be the one to redeem. Many generations in your house. 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 Many generations este es tu momento. This is your moment. Me queda poco tiempo. And you have a little time left. Señor, estira el tiempo. Heidi Peña. Heidi. Heidi Peña. Ahí arriba. Up there. Okay, lo digo si está ahí arriba. I'll say her. She's up there. El Señor me dice en el mes de diciembre. Lo hace en el mes de diciembre. Te di un regalo. I gave you a gift. Ese regalo vino en forma de un niño. It came in form of a son. Hay un Gabriel que tienes en tu casa. It's a Gabriel that you have in your house. Ese niño Gabriel. In that boy Gabriel. Es un niño. He's a boy. Tiene mucha inteligencia. That has a lot of intelligence. Dios ha puesto un coeficiente superior de inteligencia. God put a superior intelligence in him. He's a boy. Que cuando habla parece adulto. That when he speaks he seems like an adult. Es un niño. He's a boy. Que es especial. That he's special. Y Dios me dice esa inteligencia. And God says that. Intelligence will make that realmente se convierta en un recurso for him to turn into a resource in the future. It will come into a demand in the future. That's why today I tell you it's the time in which you need to believe and walk. Today I'm speaking to you so you truly believe that you're not alone and that I've already prepared your path. And not only did I give you a son, I prepared his future already. Everything that you call It's the time that God says you need to believe and walk. Every step of faith you give, I'm gonna back you up in this time. Lift up your hand right where you are. I declare in the name of Jesus that every people in this time rise up and step in faith, and you be backed up by the Lord. A time of backing up. A time which God will back up the faith of many people in this place. There are people that have needed to take a faith step of faith. They're going to make very important decisions. And I say, take your chance. Take the risk because God is going to back up your faith. You need to walk and believe because God is going to back up your faith. You have to truly believe that it's the time to start that business. It's the time to take the step. It's the time to believe because God is going to back up your faith in the name of Jesus. Hay personas que vienen al Señor para restaurar su matrimonio cuando ni siquiera le han prestado su atención. Por eso el Señor quiso captar la atención de esta mujer diciéndole dame de beber. Él necesita captar su atención. Si tú me das a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me das a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me conoces a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si tú me alabas a mí primero, tú me atiendes a mí primero. Si t
él sabía he knew que esta mujer era una mujer de mala reputación that this woman had a bad reputation embargo, le dijo que le sirviera but yet he told her to serve him escogió a una mujer de mala reputación he chose a woman that had a bad reputation so that he, she could serve los him religiosos nunca la hubieran escogido the religious never would choose her porque esta mujer because this no woman no había hecho ninguna vez she had never too no había ido a ningún seminario there was no seminary no she went to no había estado en ninguna reunión como esta she was never in a meeting like this one nunca la hubieran escogido the religious one never would choose her as a deacon no allow her to serve but yet the Lord said you're going to serve me first he knew who she was and the Lord knew that she needed what she carried he knew that he had to use what she carried because when Jesus came to your life he changed it all when you're in the Lord your past is stepped upon when you're in the presence of God your past is stepped on and nothing of your past can preserve a future success that God truly has for you Mili Soto my God there's something strong listen this is truly your moment esto no me ha pasado nunca. This has never happened to me. O sea, esto es un momento. This is your moment. Un momento divino. A divine moment. Que realmente Dios tiene contigo. That truly God has with you. Tú no puedes dejar pasar. You can't let it go este by. This este moment. Este momento va a quedar marcado en la historia de tu vida. It will stay marked in the story of your Hoy life. Hoy se para el tiempo de tu vida. Today's separate vida. time in your life. Hoy se para el tiempo. The time of your life stops. Porque Dios no para de llamarte. Because God doesn't stop Porque calling you. Porque realmente hoy se para el tiempo. Because la historia today the lo time que stops. Viviendo. The story Todo that you're living. Everything Hay stops. Hay promesas que todavía There's Dios no ha cumplido. There's promises that God has not fulfilled yet. Y este es el tiempo en el que las quiere cumplir. And this is the time that he wants to fulfill them. Todo lo que Dios te ha hablado se va a acelerar. Everything that God has spoken to you. Y puedo ver un nombre. And I can see a name. Anthony. 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 Este chico lo veo tocando el piano. I see you playing the piano. Y Dios me dice, and God tells voy a destapar sus oídos. I'm going to cover his ears. Voy a afinar sus oídos. I'm going to refine his ears. Va a escuchar mi voz con mayor precisión. He's going to hear my voice with major precision. Va a escuchar mi voz con mayor precisión. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de tu hijo. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de tu hijo. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de tu hijo. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de tu hijo. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de tu hijo. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de tu hijo. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de tu hijo. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de tu hijo. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de tu hijo. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de tu hijo. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de tu hijo. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de tu hijo. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de tu hijo. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de tu hijo. Porque yo voy a usar la vida de Anthony's es life en este is sealed in this time and there's new songs that he's gonna compose and when he plays the piano the heavens will open not open his mouth God is gonna deliver people God is gonna break the you and break the chain in the name of Jesus Hoy el Señor le está hablando a personas con historia. Today the Lord is speaking to people with stories. Porque si tú no tienes nada que contar, es que no sabes quién eres. You, to say you don't know who you are. Está hablando el Señor a personas con un pasado. God is speaking to people with a past. Un pasado que han cometido errores. A past that they make mistakes, as the pastor Kim said. Todos hemos cometido errores. We've all made mistakes. Todos hemos pasado situaciones muy difíciles. We've all gone difficult situations. Pero no hay nada en tu pasado que pueda detener lo que viene en tu futuro. But there's nothing in your past that can detain what comes in your future. Jesús le dice a ella, "Sirve me." Jesus tells her, "Serve me." Ella le dice, "Pero cómo te voy a servir si yo no soy nadie?" Sirve me. Pero cómo te voy a servir si estoy herida? Sirve me. Pero cómo te voy a servir si realmente because the presence of God changes it all as 1 Corinthians 5, 17 says all old things are passed and they're made new if you serve God with what you have he takes care of what you need if you serve God with what you have he takes charge of what you need but if I'm wounded serve him but if I'm confused Serve him. I don't know. Serve him. Because if you give God what you have in your hands, He'll give you what He has in hands. You have to be the one that truly comes out winning. You have to be the one that truly comes out winning. You have to be the one that truly comes out winning. You have to be the one that truly comes out winning. You have to be the one that truly comes out winning. You have to be the one that truly comes out winning. You have to be the one that truly comes out winning. You have to be the one that truly comes out winning. You have to be the one that truly comes out winning. You have to be the one that truly comes out winning. You have to be the one that truly com
y a los cinco meses de conocerle him, me bajó una condena a came upon de cosas de mi pasado of things of my past. yo tenía 20 años 20 years old, y me bajó una condena firme y me llevaba cinco años recluida five years en un centro de rehabilitación in a place of rehabilitation. porque mi vida había sido un desastre desde los 11 años my life was a disaster from 11 digo, years old that's why I say detrás de cada uno de nosotros behind each and every one of us historia. there's a story cuando yo llevaba cinco meses en el Señor five months in todo the Lord, el mundo me decía everyone told Tranquila, me Esther. relax Esther God makes everything Dios new no va a tener en cuenta God won't take to account de tus none of your errors y me bajó una sentencia firme and a firm sentence came down que me condenaban a 18 años de cárcel that condemned me to jail for 18 Tenía years 20 años It's 20 years old yo dije ¿cómo puede ser? so how can this be si aquí todo el mundo me está diciendo if everyone's telling me here me librar, that God is going to deliver me that he's made me a new person Pero estamos hablando de 18 años and we're de speaking condena. 18 years of sentence all my life was trash yo cometí. for the sake that I made but how can this be y toda la gente me decía, you know everyone told me no, Esther, tú tranquila. no Esther, relax no vas a entrar. you're not going to go Dios in va a hacer un milagro. God is going to make a miracle Dios te va a librar de todo eso. God's going to deliver you from all of this y el que es ahora mi esposo. and the one that's my husband now me acuerdo que se me acercó. I remember he got close y to me, me dijo, Esther, and he said Esther tengo algo que decirte. I have something to tell you vas a entrar a la cárcel. you're going to go to jail ¿Cómo? What? Pero si todos me están diciendo los pastores, los líderes, all the pastors, the leaders, diciendo, everyone's telling me that I'm going to be set free. Why do you want to send me to jail? Y me dice, no, no, yo no. He said, no, not, not Dios me. me ha dicho, God has told me that you're going to go into jail. Al día siguiente tuve que entrar con mis maletas. The next day I had to go with my luggage to the prison. Llevaba diez días en ese lugar. Ten days in that place. Dieciocho años de condena. Eighteen years of sentence. I was twenty years old. Pensaba que mi vida se había terminado. I thought my life was over. A los diez días de estar en ese lugar. Ten days after being in that place. Me llamaron al departamento de los They called me to the judicial department. Yo fui a ese lugar, when I went to that place, vas a ese lugar, when you go there, it's to sign papers. I said, I don't want to go. I already signed everything I have to sign. Let's see if they want to put me in another mess. No, 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 no I'm not going to sign no papers. And they called no, me again. No, you have to go. You're obligated. You have to go. And I go to that place. And the man that was waiting for me with some papers, he was white. White. He had no color. And he was shaking. And he said, I have something for you. No, 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 I don't want it. Don't give me any paper. I have enough for whatever I have. I'm not going to carry with anyone else. I'm going to fulfill my sentence. That's it. Leave me alone. No, 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 no. You need to sign this. I'm not going to sign anything. Let me read it to you at least. And then he told me, Is it been a change? Something has occurred. I don't know what happened but it's all the evidence that was against you has disappeared you're free you're free you're free you're free 18 years of sentencing in one the Lord he took it away this is the time that I declare that all evidence that was against you all situation all condemnation that the enemy Enemy is trying to rise up against you. Now, when this moment is removed, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come now to appeal to the celestial courts and declare that resolution is unleashed in your favor. It doesn't matter the situation that you live in. I'm not that Samaritan. I had that encounter. The Lord took away 18 years of sentence and one all my errors. Then I went to psychiatry. I went to the. I was in a coma. He made me be born again in all my life. Has been a, Pero mi querido, but my beloved, el Dios que todo lo puede, the God that can do it all, es el Dios. is the God que se encontró contigo en ese momento. That encountered with you in that moment. Recuerdas ese momento. Remember that moment. Yo declaro que Dios va a cambiar toda circunstancia en tu vida. I declare God's going to change every circumstances in your life, in your house, in your family. Yo declaro que el Señor no se ha de tu causa. I declare that the Lord hasn't forgot your cause. Clarissa Fon. Clarissa Ford ¿Estás aquí? Are you here? ¿La conoce alguien? Does anyone know her? Voy a decir lo que veo. I'm going to see what I Clarissa say what I see. Ford. Clarissa 
puedo ver casas. I can see houses. Veo muchas casas. I see many houses. Veo que el Señor te entrega muchas llaves en tu mano. And I see the Lord gives you many keys. Y el Señor me dice. And he tells me. Vendes casas. You sell houses. Te dedicas a eso. You dedicate yourself to that. Y Dios me dice que este es el tiempo. And he says this is the time. Que realmente. And which truly. Todo lo bien que tú has hecho para otras personas. All the good you've done for others. Lo va a colocar en tu vida para bien. God will put it in your life for good. A time is coming. En el cual Dios va a revertir la situación que tú estás viviendo. Esta palabra es para ti. This is word is for you. Es el tiempo en el que Dios revierte. It's the time that he. Un día malo. A bad day. He's going to convert it into a historical one. Every day you live will be a gain and not a loss in the mighty name of Jesus. There's a lady here named Luisa. Luisa. Luisa Bernabe. Luisa Bernabe. Yes. El Señor me deja ver. The Lord lets me see. Ha pasado antes por delante de mí. You come before me. Cuando has pasado. And when you did. Me ha golpeado. You hit me. Como una situación. Like a situation. Que tú has estado pasando. That you've been going through. Hay una transformación en tu vida. There's a transformation in your body. Y esa transformación en tu vida. And that transformation. Ha sido a base de mucho esfuerzo. Has been on the base of a lot of effort. Eres una mujer que has entendido que te tienes que cuidar. You're a woman that you know you have to take care of yourself. Te gusta hacer ejercicio. You like to do exercise. Y Dios va a venir a recompensar ese esfuerzo. And God is going to reward that effort. Pero también va a recompensar tu fe. But He'll also reward your faith. Es el tiempo en el que Dios va a recompensar tu fe. That God is going to reward your faith. El Señor me dice tu fe ha sido probada en este tiempo. He says your faith has been tried in this time. Pero es el tiempo en el que va a ser elevado. But now you'll be elevated. Pasas a ser un tiempo elevación. Pasas a una temporada de elevación. A season of elevation. Porque has pasado un tiempo de prueba. Because you've gone through a time of trial. Y esa dificultad en la que parecía que todo se había detenido. Oh, Rakama, Shakatara, Kavasaya. Hay una puerta que se había cerrado. There's a door that was shut. But the Lord says, I have the door prepared for you. Don't be afraid of what I've taken from your life. Because now I add a new season. You've taken a lot of effort to do what you have. Because now I add a new season. You've taken a lot of effort to do what you have. Because now I add a new season. You've taken a lot of effort to do what you have. Because now I add a new season. You've taken a lot of effort to do what you have. Because now I add a new season. You've taken a lot of effort to do what you have. Reward in this time the effort that we truly time. That's why now the trial's over, and now is the time in which God enters the time of elevation. You're gonna be elevated because your faith has been tried, and it's the time that you prove it before God. Don't be afraid that things shut in your life because God has a new season for you. He said, "Look, how you gonna give me to drink from this place?" And you know what the Lord does? He ignores her. Ella le dice, pero cómo tú me vas a dar de beber de este pozo si ni siquiera tienes una cuerda para sacar el agua. How you gonna give me a drink if you don't even have anything to draw the water from me? And the Lord ignores her. Y sabes por qué la ignora? And you know why he ignores her? Porque hay cosas que tú tienes que ignorar en tu vida. Because there are things that you have to ignore in your life. Porque hay preguntas que no merecen tus respuestas. Because there are questions that you don't deserve an answer. Porque hay problemas que no necesitan tus soluciones. Because there are problems that don't need your solutions. Y ella sigue insistiendo. And she continues insisting. Pero por qué? But why? Pero cómo vas a ser tú mayor que mi padre Jacob? How you gonna be greater than my father Jacob? Porque entonces él le dice si tú supieras. And he says if you only si tú supieras quién está delante de ti, who's before you? Si tú supieras quién te está hablando, if you knew who's speaking to you, si tú supieras quién soy yo, if you only knew who I am, perder el tiempo con todas esas tonterías, instead of wasting all the time with all that foolishness, estaría pidiendo para que yo te pudiera dar, you'll be asking me to give to you. Yo te puedo dar lo que tu alma necesita. I can give you what your soul needs. Si tú supieras la de veces, if you only knew, que el Señor te ha protegido de gente, the times that God has protected from people that truly want to destroy you. Si tú supieras los ángeles, if you only knew the angels, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado a tu favor, cuando los demonios te querían matar, si tú supieras la de veces, que el Señor ha mandado si tú supieras quién está aquí, if you knew who is here, no vendrías a recibir. You wouldn't come to receive. No vendrías a dar. You would come to give. El Señor me deja ver algo. The Lord lets me see something. 14 de abril. 14 de abril. 
Dios me dice God says, en este tiempo in this time, voy a respaldar todo proyecto musical I'm gonna back up every musical project that you truly have voy a hacer conocer mi amor a través de tu adoración let you, my love be mi known through your worship voy a dar a conocer a mucha gente many people know my love tu adoración. through your worship este es un tiempo this is a time en el que realmente le tienes que creer al Señor in which you truly hay nuevas puertas God. que el Señor te va a abrir new tools que tienen que ver con las plataformas que Dios ya tiene preparadas en tu that he already has prepared your future dice, no but he distraigas. says don't get distracted listen te dice, no te God says don't get distracted and don't get desperate because I'm truly in control of everything no that's going to happen don't get distracted no one get desperate because I'm in control of everything truly is going to happen stand right where you are Hay cosas que no sabemos, there are things that we don't know sí but yes we know Si tú supieras quién está aquí, if you only knew who was here sometimes we despise the presence of God en una de and we start asking questions mujer, as this woman did el pozo de la aldea, the well was outside the valley es en las de because it's the outside of our purposes las when the questions begin es en de it's in the outside of our purposes la duda, when the doubt begins la when en the nosotros, untrusting in us begins en la afuera de nuestro propósito es cuando empezamos a preguntarle al Señor porque cuando tú estás en medio de su voluntad tú no le preguntas nada tú simplemente le das a Él tú simplemente estás con Él pero cuando tú estás fuera de tu propósito tú estás alejada de la posición de tu propósito ahí empiezan las preguntas ¿cómo lo vas a hacer? ¿cuándo lo vas a hacer? ¿de qué manera lo vas a hacer? Señor, es que no me ves empiezan las preguntas and the questions begin outside of your purpose and God says I'm not going to answer you any of that that's your problem if you want to keep wasting your time but if you only knew who I was and what I truly have for you then you would understand that I'm a source of life for you Maria Bautista Eres una mujer luchadora. You're a woman, a fighter. You're Eres a businesswoman. You're brave. No te ha tocado otra que ser valiente. You have no other choice but to be brave. Pero en esa valentía, but in that bravery, el Señor te ha bendecido. the Lord has blessed you. Y realmente te ha sostenido. And He truly has sustained you. El Señor va a hacer de ti una flecha. He's going to make of you an arrow. Todo lo que tocas, everything you touch, lo para bien. use it for good. Por eso en este tiempo, That's why in this time, el Señor va a tocar tus the Lord will touch your Eliane. Creativity. Iliani. Eliane. Iliani. Hay una niña. There's a girl. Se llama Eliane, her una name is joven. Iliane. She's a young girl. El Señor me dice, the Lord tells me. Yo la tengo para mi I have her for my service. El Señor me dice algo. And the Lord tells me Dios something. Me dice, ella cuando danza para he says, mí, when she dances for ella me. No está danzando, eres tú. It's you. Amen. Okay. Cuando tú danzas para el Señor, when you dance for the Lord, tú no das pasos de baile. you don't just tú das dance, you get spiritual Son steps. En el mundo there are wounds in the spiritual Eres una world. Joven you're a young girl, a a you're going to bring many to the de feet hecho, of Christ. Gente en tu familia, there are people in your family trayendo, that you're bringing, jóvenes, there are young people, hay una chica joven there's a young girl, a tu familia, she belongs to belong your family, traído, that you've brought her, dice, and the Lord tells me, it's the time in which I'm going to use your life to be able to bring Cristo. many to the feet of Christ you have me for great things and it's great what I'm truly going to give you get ready because it's truly a time of preparation you're going to enter the time of formation because God has given you the ability and give you the gift of deliverance you have the gift of deliverance you're brave and you're not afraid of the demons you confront the difficult situations but God says prepare because you're going to live so supernatural experience you can see the enemy face to face but when you're before him don't fear remember who you truly are you are my warrior in my right hand the Lord says you are my warrior you are the weapon in my right hand in which you I'm going to destroy many situations she's the one that's come you've come through you the Lord in time that he's going to use you as a door of salvation for many and you're going to have to 
confront many situations, but don't be afraid when they come before you. Remember, when he comes to tell you who he thinks you are, you remember what his future is. You remember who truly is in your life because there'll be nothing that can touch you. The Lord has given you a gift of deliverance so powerful that in this time it begin to manifest. Give me your hand. Yo soy tu padre. I'm your father. Y yo vengo a restituir. And I come to restitute. La paternidad en tu vida. The paternity in your life. Vengo a restituir. I come to restitute. Las lágrimas que tú has derramado. The tears that you've wept. Yo he venido a llenar ese vacío. I come to fill that void. Por eso te he dado autoridad. That's why I've given you authority. Porque toda la vergüenza shame, que realmente truly, él intentó plantar como semilla, to plant el Señor la hace florecer con autoridad. The Lord makes it Eres una mujer de guerra. You're a Eres warrior. una mujer de guerra. You're a warrior. Eres una mujer de guerra. You're a warrior. Y eso te vas a convertir en mis manos. Te vas a convertir en un mazo de guerra. Into a mantle of war. Pastora Marta. Pastor Marta. El Señor me dice, has hecho bien en soñar en grande. The Lord says you've done well in teaching great big. Porque todo lo pequeño se va a convertir en grande. Because everything tiempo. small is going to turn into great in this time. El Señor me dice, es tiempo de escribir. The Lord says it's time to write. Pero va a ser una estrategia. But you're going to use a strategy. Va a ser una estrategia que va a ser territorial. A strategy is going to be territorial. El Señor me dice que te diga, va a llegar un momento. The Lord says, the moment will come. En el que vas a hacer la maleta. In which you're going to pack your luggage. Y no te va a dar tiempo a deshacerla. In no time to unpack it. Vas a entrar. You're going to enter. En un tiempo de aceleramiento profético. In a time acceleration prophetically. Donde ahora vas a pasar a un escenario central. When now you come to a central scene. Y lo que le has estado pidiendo al Señor. And what you've been asking the Lord for. Se va a manifestar en este tiempo. Will be manifested in this time. Time. God told me you need to choose the armbearer that's going to go with you you have to choose because she's going to have to be aligned of what truly God has deposited inside you if she's not aligned of what God has deposited in you it will be the cause that doors can be shut in you there are people that God puts in assignment in a certain time and there are people that they have Abilitators in our lives. That's why you need to pay attention. You're not the one who would choose her. Because you would choose her conforming to what's good in you. But it's God who's going to choose her. And there'll be in you a challenge, a resistance. And to say, why? Why? No. There are many things that I don't share. But yet, it's going to be a facilitator for everything that God has for you. You need to get ready. Because truly God is going to use your life after this in such a powerful way. And everything that was small will be made big. God says the small details are going to turn big. An increased anointing is going to be upon your life. Revelations more profound are coming. Where truly the God is going to start to come out. He said, ask me the nations and I'll give them to you in two, more, than, more than two years you ask for the nations and he says from this moment on I'll open a new nation every year a, new, a nation new every year so that you can notice I'm in it before this year is over you're going to have a demand there's a nation that you still haven't stepped on and next year a new nation is going to open and remember this word a moment will come when you're going to have luggage you're not going to be able to unpack in that moment you say Lord but I want to be with my family and God will tell you remember what you asked me for because this is the time and you're going to have to give it all you asked me for all and you're going to have to give it all to me hay momentos que no deberían terminar hay segundos que tendrían que ser eternidad cuando tu Espíritu, Señor, se toca con el mío y mi corazón está ya en adoración. Vamos, ayúdame. Come on, help me. Amo, mi Señor, se acaba. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Come on, come on, come on. 
vida para recibir Come pero to sin embargo eres tú la que le tienes que dar but it's you that have to give. recuerda ese momento Remember that moment. ese momento en el que te encontraste con él por primera vez that moment when you found yourself with him for the first time. ese momento that moment. en el que era eterno Eternal. Ese momento en el que estabas dispuesto, that you were willing, dispuesto that you were willing a entregarlo todo. To give it all. Y ha pasado el tiempo. And the time has come by. ¿Qué ha pasado? And what happened? ¿Qué es lo que ha cambiado? What has changed? ¿Dónde está esa pasión? Where is the passion? Con la que le hablabas a todo el mundo. That you spoke to everyone. ¿Dónde está ese celo? Where is that jealousy? Que tú tenías. That you had. Cuando yo era lo primero a levantarte. When you first got up. Cuando era lo último al acostarte. Were you the last one to lie down? ¿Cuántos momentos? How many moments has dejado al Señor esperando have you left God waiting para poder disfrutar de tu presencia? To be able to enjoy your presence. ¿Cuántos momentos has dejado pasar? How many moments have you let come by? ¿Cuántas oportunidades han pasado de largo? How many opportunities have gone by you sin darte cuenta? Without notice. Y ahora sigues esperando. And now you continue waiting. Pero hoy te digo. But today I tell hoy you. Hoy es ese momento. Today is that moment. Hoy es ese momento. Today is that moment. En el que tienes que recordar. When, which you have to remember. Cuando él llegó a tu vida. When he came to your life. Y tu corazón estalla. And your heart is open. Estalla en agradecimiento. It's over in gratefulness. Estalla en adoración. It's in worship. Por lo que eras. For who you were. Por lo que eres. For what you are. Por lo que él es para ti. For who he is to you. Por lo que él ha hecho contigo. For what he's done with you. Por todo lo que te ha entregado. For everything he's given you. Por lo que realmente te ha prometido. For what he has promised you. Ese momento. That moment. Que tendría que ser interminable. You have to be endless, endless. No quieres que termine. You don't want it to end. Porque cuando tú estás delante de su presencia. Because when you're before his presence. No hay reloj. There's no time. No hay responsabilidades. There's no responsibilities. Todo se para. Everything stops. Todo se detiene. Everything is detained. ¿Cuánto tiempo hace? How long has it been? Que no te has detenido. That you haven't detained yourself. Vamos a cantarlo una vez más. Por Let's favor. sing it once again, please. Recuerda ese momento. Remember that moment. Vamos, recuérdalo. Come on, remember it. Recuérdalo. Remember it. ¿Qué es lo que vienes a darle hoy al Señor? What do you come to give God today? ¿Qué le darías ahora al Señor? What will you give the Lord right now? ¿Qué estás dispuesta a darle en este momento? What are you willing to give him at this moment to the Lord? ¿Qué estaría dispuesta a entregarle? ¿Qué estaría dispuesta a entregarle? Dispuesto, dispuesta a entregarle hoy. What are you willing to give him? ¿Cuál es tu nivel de entrega hoy? What is your level of giving to him? ¿Te imaginas? Can you imagine? En este momento cambia todo. In this moment everything changes. ¿Te imaginas? Can you imagine? 18 años de condena. 18 years of sentence. In an instant. Can you imagine? El milagro que estabas esperando. The miracle you were waiting for. Hay personas que van a recibir una llamada en este día. Hay personas que van a recibir una llamada en este día. Hay personas que aman mucho. 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 You can't go. He can get rid of everything in one moment. Si tú supieras delante del cual está. If you only knew who you were before. Si tú supieras las bendiciones que Dios tiene preparadas para ti. If you only knew the blessings that He has prepared for you. Si tú supieras los planes que ya tiene con tus hijos. If you only knew the plans He had with your children. Si tú supieras todo lo que realmente él ha 
preparado para ti. If you para only knew casa, everything that he truly prepared for you in your house. No vendrías tú a beber de la fuente. You wouldn't come to drink from the well. If not, you would come to give him. You would come to give everything to him. It would be you that would give him the praise. You would give him your life. It would be you because what you have is lacking. It's very little. It's limited. But what truly he is, but he alone. He just wants to be with you. He just wants your attention. He wants your love. Él solamente quiere estar contigo. He just wants to be with you. Dios le dijo que no a Jesús. God said no to Jesus. Para decirle que sí a tu vida. So he can say yes to your life. No le pongas no. Don't put a no. A aquello. To that. Que Dios. That God. Ha dicho que sí. Has said yes.